So, next coming to applications of Python. The first one is desktop applications. Desktop applications means applica applications which are running in a single system that is a standalone system. The best example for desktop application is a calculator. Okay. And next one is a web applications in Gmail, Facebook, Yahoo, all these comes under web applications. And next one is a network programming. Next, graphical user interface to base applications in gaming and 3D applications. in mathematical and scientific applications ok and next one in the development of software in software development and uh, as I told in all the trending technologies like uh, data analysis, data science, machine learning artificial intelligence, neural networks, okay, deep learning. So, in all these areas Python is used, okay. So, Python is used in desktop applications, web applications, network related applications like client ser server architecture in all those and in a graphical user interface, um, interface based applications and next one is in gaming and 3D applications, mathematical and scientific applications, okay. And uh, in the development of software and in all these uh, trend trending technologies, Python is being used, ok. So, why Python is uh, used in all it, all these applications uh, because of its uh, powerful library support. Coming to limitations of Python. So, for some areas Python is not up to the mark. So, coming to mobile applications. For mobile applications, Python language is not suitable due to insufficient library support. Okay. So, which one is best for mobile applications means for mobile applications Android and iOS Swift. Okay, these two are best for mobile applications, but Python, Python is not good for mobile applications. Next, second one is enterprise applications. So, for enterprise applications, consider banking. Okay, so in banking application, we have so many transactions involved, multiple transactions are involved in banking applications. Suppose if you want to provide end to end operations, okay. Suppose if you want to provide end to end operations, then Python is not suitable due to insufficient library support itself, okay. Next, third one is performance. Coming to performance factor in Python. Performance is poor. Performance is not good in Python. So, why performance is not good in Python? Means Python is a interpreted programming language. Interpreted programming language. So, if you consider C, C++, Java. So, all these are compiler based programming languages. So, what are these interpreter and compiler? These are all la language translators, ok. So, they will, what they will do? What is the job of this means? They will convert source code. What is meant by source code? The code which is written by the user, by the programmer is source code. So, they will convert, the compiler will convert the sor source code to the object code and then after that it will execute. So, after the conversion of the source code to the object code, execution will be taken place in compiler based 
programming languages like C, C++ and Java. But coming to Python, it is an interpreted programming language. So what happens means the source code is directly converted, is directly executed before the conversion to the object code, the source code is directly executed in interpreted programming languages. So here what is the main disadvantage is step by step execution of source code, source code takes place in interpreted programming languages. So the step by step execution will affect the performance of the program. Okay. So to overcome this in Python JIT compiler, JIT compiler concept came to the existence JIT with the PVM. So JIT means just in time. PVM is a Python virtual machine, Python virtual machine, it is nothing but a Python interpreter, PVM is nothing but a Python interpreter, okay, internally within the Python, this Python interpreter is there, so that Python interpreter with a just in time compiler, okay, so these two together will improve the performance of the program in Python. So, how is that possible? What it will do? Means internally JIT compiler, instead of executing step by step, uh, this JIT compiler uh, with a Python virtual machine, it will execute a sequence of instructions, a set of instructions at a time. Okay. So, like that uh, performance is somewhat improved in Python. So, this uh, JIT with a PVM, JIT with a Python virtual machine, this is called as a PyPy version of Python. Nothing but a Python for speed okay got it so with respect to performance in python uh, py performance is poor in python so to overcome that uh, jit compiler with the pvm is uh, used in python so the jit with the pvm just in time what it will do uh, it will execute uh, step of that uh, some set of instructions instead of uh, executing step by step uh, some set of ex instructions will be executed at a time. So, JIT with the PVM that is called as a PyPy version of Python. So, which is for Python for speed. So, uh, even though this with the JIT compiler concept, uh, somewhat performance issues are solved, but still Python is not that much good with respect to performance compared to other languages like C, C++ and Java. Next coming to various versions of Python. So the first the first version of Python is Python 0 0.9.0. It is the initial version of Python. So this version came to the existence in the market in the year 1991, 20th February. So, this is the initial version which Guido Van Rossum, when he introduced, this is the version which he released in the market. Okay. Second, after that, Python 1.0 is the next version which came in the year 1994. And next, Python 2.0 is the another version which came in the year 2000. So, this, this is called as, this version is called as a Py 2K or Py 2.x. Okay. Next one is a Python 3.0. So, this version came in the year December 3rd, 2008. Okay, this is also called as Py 3.x. So, in between these several versions are released. Similarly, in between Python 1.0 to Python 2, several subversions are there. Okay, here also several subversions are there. Okay, like that, several versions of Python are there in between these. So, the present version of Python is Python. 3.8.5 is the present version which is running in the market. Okay. 
So, if you consider uh, Java language, okay. So, the present Java version is Java 14 is the present version which is running in the market. So, before that Java 13, Java 12, Java 11, Java 10 like that several Java versions are there and the present version is Java 14. So, in Java, if they are releasing a new version, they have to make sure that they are going to provide support to the previous versions. Okay, that means Java 14 has to provide support to the Java 13. Java 13, it has to provide support to Java 12. Okay, like that for each and every new version, they have to provide the support to the previous old versions. Okay, so that process is called as a backward compatibility. So, backward compatibility means providing support to the previous versions. Okay. Similarly, coming to Python. So, Python 3.x is the version. So, in that Python 3.8.5 is the subversion. Okay, which comes under Python 3.x. So, before that we have Py 2.x. Okay. So, as I told backward compatibility will be there. Uh, that means the new version has to provide support to the old version. So, similarly this uh, according to that rule this Py 3.x it has to provide support to Py 2.x. That means Python 3.x has to provide support to the Python 2.x. But that nature is not there, that compatibility nature is not there in, uh, in the Python language. So, what is the reason means uh, this is uh, this uh, Python 3.x, it is not extensible to Python 2.x. It is not extensible to Python 2.x. This uh, Python 3.x, it is an independent language. It is not a extended version of Python 2.x. Okay, it is an independent language. So, as it is an independent language, this is a Python 3, it does not provide support to Python 2. Okay, that means no compatibility nature is there in the Python language because it is not extended version of Python 3.0, it is not an extended version of Python 2.0, it is an independent programming language. So, what is the advantage of this independent programming language means it does not provide any backward compatibility. So, whatever may be the new features if I want to add as an user, okay, if I want to add any new features according to our market requirements, we can add those features happily.